going on, young girl? This your boy Dwayne Mike, and we're back for, for a phenomenal episode of The Conversation. I got four guests today because this topic is so crazy. I got my man Malcolm Nelson right now from Wise High School. He's a senior. He wants to be a DJ and, and a producer. I got Miss uh, Jamil Strowman, uh, another student of, of Wise High School. As you guys can see with the hair and makeup, she wants to go on like cosmetology. She always keep it fly. You know what I'm saying? Then we have Miss London Russell over here. She wants to go into cosmetology as well. She's from Wise High School. And then we got my man Nino Brown, I mean, Nino Brown, Nino Robs. I joke around with because he's back from popular demand. You know what I mean? He always coming at me left and right. Good, good conversation. He's from North Carolina A&T, them good old Aggies down there. He wants to go into computer science. It's my thing. So, you guys, we were just joking off set just now. And we just came up with this crazy uh, topic. So I had to bring it to the camera. Let's jump into it. We got the catfishing going on. We got people, you know, a picture look one way online, then you see her in public and she looks something totally different. <laughs> they taking selfies only because they don't want to show the whole self. I mean, this is y'all world. So y'all just jump into it. Y'all teach me during this episode. Talk to me about right, this whole I'm going to say one thing <laughs> this, that, that can give anything away. If she doesn't want, everybody got an iPhone, everybody got some type of camera on their phone. If they don't want to FaceTime or like do like real time looking at them, then you, you need to leave that alone because there's something wrong with them. They either don't exist or they don't look that good. If you're talking to somebody online, you're getting to know them, say after a week or so, and you throw out that whole, hey, let's video chat, let's see each other face to face, and they say no, it probably means because they're a fake profile. Have you ever been catfished before? Not, not necessarily catfish, but she tried. Deceived before. I've, no, I've been deceived, yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> she just, like, she, had, she, she was using every line in the book, like, oh, I, I'll crack my iPhone again. I, I can't, can't FaceTime. I was like, she could never FaceTime. Never, never was ever mind. Real. Yeah, I was like, ah, forget that. I ain't even about to deal with that. Okay. London, go ahead. Like, the angles, it's not just people being another person. You could take a, a picture from a different angle and make you look totally different like if you only taking selfies and you won't take a full body picture that's how you know the person fat <laughs> like, or even if you fat you might make yourself look smaller taking an angle like to the side, side to the side no it happens so if you fat you need to come at an angle that's like hello hello crazy angle Instagram, they put all like posts and not no pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pictures, right? They never say what y'all wrong. Which is y'all wrong? Y'all are so wrong right now, man. Group pictures. The what's funny is you got some people actually tag people in pictures, but then if it's all a group picture like how it is now, you trying to tag somebody like I don't know who's who, who's Malcolm, who's that, who's such and such. You don't tag people. That's wow. like one of the things that like you don't tag people in group so, pictures. So has social media in general stopped us from physical interacting with people? Yes. I, yeah, I would definitely yeah. say yeah, I mean, yes. it, it, it seems like now, like, we don't even know how, to, you know, know how to have a conversation. Exactly. As technology progresses and communication becomes less face-to-face -face and more nose-to-phone, texting shorthand like, where are you at, and I don't know, become more integrated into our conversations. And sure, we adults and learned folk are allowed to make these transgressions against grammar because we know better. We've learned the rules before breaking them, but what about the you? I mean, because we're always tweeting something, we're always texting something, and then the bad thing about it is that the way you tweet, when you get to writing that way, so then, so then, all of a sudden, you type in the paper and, and you trying to say you, and you is it spelled out Y O U, and you just write the letter U. You know, so I mean, it's, it's, it's getting to a point now where it's like, you know, we're not even inter interacting with people. Like, when, when is the last time you guys really interacted with, with someone? And, and, and we can say like even a phone conversation. Most of y'all are texting everybody nowadays. Like, it's simple. people don't even like texting. I mean, to talk on the phone anymore. Texting is like, is so watered down from like talking in person that's like you can't you could be like you could be like asking a girl out and then she'll come back and slap you because it could be misconstrued you never know the little things little nuances in your body movements count uh, I prefer calling it's just easier there's less gaps in communication because sometimes you can't hear the intonation in someone's voice when you're texting so I think it's just faster and safer like yesterday I was in the car with this boy that I talked to and we never like drove anywhere far, and it was like an hour away. I was just sitting in the car like this, like I didn't know what to say. I, I, really, I didn't know what to say. It was so uncomfortable. I didn't. It was so uncomfortable. I was just like, 
That's how you get catfish too, talking on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> right? You still don't know what they look like. <laughs> you don't know what they look like. Uh, Even while texting, you get, you get it too. Texting is the same way. Yeah, because like she said, she don't like it was awkward, right? Like it gets awkward for me, like if I'm texting and I got nothing to say. I'm more better talking unless I'm like on FaceTime or I'm on the phone or I'm in person. I'm better talking like that because even with catfish, you don't know who you're talking to, who you text on, who you hit. Athlete for the Notre Dame football team riveted the nation with his inspiring story of a girlfriend who had died of leukemia right before a crucial game. It turns out that girl apparently never existed. The story, first reported on the sports news website Deadspin, says she was a hoax and that the picture we all saw was of another woman who is very much alive and says she doesn't know Teo at all. So, let me, so, so what is the official definition of catfish? Is that just faking to be somebody else? I mean, it, it, you know, is it putting up a picture and saying that, you know, this is that person, but no. you're just faking behind? What, what it's, is it? It's not being yourself, period. Not being yourself, period. So, yeah, it, so you, you don't have to be being another person. You're just not showing who you are like as a person that's showing like, who you are as a person you have a freaking lie detector or i don't want this freaking bull between you and her but she also told him for four months that she was someone else so we know she's a liar you you know what you don't live in here you don't use her phone you're not next to my daughters you can talk to somebody in a different country with just like a push of a button you don't need to talk face to face anymore it's just just as simple now without face-to-face -face conversation to talk to somebody. So, yeah, that's pretty over. much it. They, they, they're, they're taking over. So, mm -hmm. from a, like, female standpoint, you know, how, how does this affect you guys when it comes to dating and, and, and meeting guys? And, you know, it, it, it does it make it easier with, with all the pictures and stuff that's going on with Instagram and stuff, or does it make it more difficult? I mean, I don't like talking to people I meet on social networks. Like, my friend gave me this boy's, I mean, gave this boy my number, and I don't, I don't text people back that I don't know. Do y'all have, like, a whole bunch of people all in your uh, DM, yeah. direct message you? I don't respond. You don't no. respond to all that type of stuff? I respond. You respond? <laughs> <laughs> I respond. So, me don't even got it cracking off a DM. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Cool. And you can tell when they fake kind of right. sometimes their pictures. Like, if it's, like, a white girl, she all like this or whatever, it's, she probably fake. Their profile. If this person only has five profile pictures, that means that they're not them. Those pictures that they're utilizing at the moment are stolen from somebody else. In this day and age when everybody keeps everything so updated, hey, I'm at McDonald's, snap. Hey, I'm eating a Big Mac, snap. I'm washing my car, snap, snap, snap. People like to keep their profile pictures updated. You guys have taught me a lot about it. Go ahead. You, you said you had something to say, Michael. Go ahead, jump in. Uh, to be honest, what London was saying about like not being so. To be honest, when I was growing up, I was not just kind of being myself. I was trying to be like, I was literally trying to be like everybody else when I was in elementary school. But then, you know, I got older and being in middle school, actually just being in high school now for my freshman year, um, I kind of figure out who I am, find out who I could be, just know how to be myself. I can admit sometimes now I, I try to like somebody, but I just try and mix it up and put it in my own way. Wow. Wow. Well, you guys, man, you guys have taught me a lot today. So, so much, man, because this whole social media and how, and, and how much it, um, uh, it has evolved. It's, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's evolving so fast, and I can't keep up with it. I mean, because it's, it's, it's a new site every single day. There's something brand new, brand new, and everybody's trying to create some brand new, like, identity. So that's absolutely amazing. Um, you guys, we're going to be back in a, in, a, in a quick second. I'm going to give you my whole final thought, and we're going to leave out in a little bit. This is your boy Dwayne Michael. We'll be back in a second. What's going on, young world? It's your boy, Dwayne Mock. I'm about to give you guys my final thought on this great conversation that we just had about catfishing and people trying to be somebody new on the internet. You know, this is very basic to me, you know, because um, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the internet. You know, prior to Sure Could Dream, prior to this whole show, I didn't believe in getting online because I was way too focused about my dreams and my goals. And that's really what I have to say to everybody. You know, leave the internet alone. You know, give yourself some time every single day because we all always have to have fun. Allot yourself a certain amount of time to get on the net and then have some fun. But for the most part, we need to be focused. We need to get on these dreams and our goals. We have no time to be trying to be somebody else. Be your own self because your own self is a great person. Everybody in the world is a genius. We just have to tap into our inner genius and make it happen. You all have the ability to accomplish extraordinary success. Good, better, best, never let it rest until your good is your better and your better is your best. This is your boy Dwayne Michael. This is a conversation. We out of here.